Hey everyone, I hope you're well. So I thought I'd do a quick video on a haul, um, like a haul post video. Um, end of last week was lovely, I had a couple of days off work to spend with the family. My auntie came down to visit us so it was lovely to share some time with her and we ended up going to a gorgeous town in England which is a couple of hours away from where I live called Windsor. Um, and it's famous for its castle, which I believe Henry VIII, King Henry VIII, used to go to quite a lot. And, sorry, <clears throat> enough of the um, educational stuff now. This isn't going to be an educational video. Well, maybe to do with makeup and bits and bobs, but not history. Um, but it is a really interesting place if you've never been. And while half of my family trotted off around the castle and um, took in the culture and the education and soaked it all up in their brains and loved it me and my mum were like mm, we've been there a few times we think we're going to educate our minds by going to the shops so off me and my mum went strolling down Windsor town and it's really lovely it's not a huge place but it is quite big it's a lot bigger than my local town um so the shopping was quite good there I was really surprised I wasn't holding out for much but there were some lovely shops there and some gorgeous little tea rooms and we went and had afternoon tea and it was really lovely a really nice day out so anyway we first of all not very exciting I know but me and my mum started off in super Jug. And the reason I went into Superdrug is I wanted to visit the Gosh section because out of their whole makeup range, I've never tried their polishes, nail polishes. Um, and I thought, hey, new Superdrug, let's go check them out. So I got two colours. Let's have a look. So I'll show you this one first. This is number 550 and it's called Purple Heart. And I don't know if my camera will pick it up, but let's see if this light works. It's a gorgeous greeny purple metallic y colour and it's almost like a dirty petrol colour. But I just thought it was super different. I've got nothing like it and for evening especially it's great. So I'm excited to try that. Then the next colour I got was number 540 called Ocean. This is my favourite I think and I can't wait to put this on. Especially for summer I think it's the perfect colour. Again, I'll, hopefully my light works for it. So it's a beautiful, Ocean's the perfect name for it, it's like a bluey, greeny, metallic colour and again I think this would look nice on your fingernails or your toenails. So again like I said I'm new to gosh nail polishes so if any of you have got some, tried some out, got these colours maybe or you can recommend any other colours for me please put um, the names of them or the numbers in the comments box below because I love reading them, I do read every comment I get and you know, it would be good to know your advice. If you've tried them out, tell me the good colours. I'll go get them next time. So then we went off into Fennec, which is a department store. There's a few dotted around the UK. And instantly, me and my mum were drawn to the Chanel counter. My mum especially is like a Chanel makeup freak. And, you know, I know Chanel's pricey. It can, you know, I think on average their lipsticks are between 21 and 23 pounds. But they are stunning. And the consistency of them is fabulous. And people do say that you should spend money on makeup products because obviously the quality is worth it and my mum can put Chanel makeup on and it lasts the whole day and doesn't smudge and I can put cheaper brands on and have to reapply two or three times out of the day so maybe that's saying something but I only had a couple of things from Chanel and I was ooing and ahhing over their lip glosses because I think their lip um, glosses and their lipsticks are amazing and bless my mum, she was in a lovely mood. She most of the time she is, but she was particularly in a lovely mood this day because she treated me to a lip gloss I was ooing and ahhing over. And it is number 98 and it's called Galactic. So this is the packaging it came in. And this is the lip gloss. Again, I'm gonna turn and see if the light helps, but it's basically a pearly, sparkly tube of delight. And the reason I got it, you can wear it alone, but, you know, just to give a nice sheen to your lips. But the main reason I got it was to apply it over a bolder colour lipstick. And like I said in my last video, if you watched it, um, my daily routine, my favourite colour of the moment for the lips is the Petals and Peacocks from Max Liberty of London Limited Edition Collection. And I was playing around with it before this video, and this is what it looks like. Again, I really hope the camera picks this up because it looks so pretty see what happens it's it just creates like a sparkle iridescent sheen over your lipstick and I just think it's perfect you can obviously depending how much you put on you can make it really dramatic and super shiny on your lips or you can just do quite a subtle tone to it like that so 
anyway I know that probably doesn't pick it up as much as it should do but go to your nearest Janelle counter if you can pick up a tester of Galactic number 98 and take in your favourite lipstick I carried Petals and Peacocks with me and quickly swatched it on my hand and tried it on top and straight away you just notice the difference like right now I'm just staring at this pink sparkly patch on my skin yeah I'm weird anyway so then we went into TK Maxx and I was really happy because it's a really big one where I live I haven't got a very good TK Maxx so the one in Windsor was lovely and I picked up these babies so I got some Armani sunglasses and I was going to treat myself to a pair of sunglasses this year I got some from ASOS last year they were no more than £20 and they're super cute but they weren't particularly comfy after a while and now the frames are too wide for my head and keep falling off so that's pointless so I was going to treat myself to some this year but I'm so glad I went into Tico Max when I did because I got these gorgeous classic black Armani current season sunglasses I'll quickly try them on for you Posing. Ooh, ooh. What do you think? Let's have a look. Yeah, I like them. Bigger frames suit my um, size and shape of my face a lot more. So I was really happy when I got these. I just think they're classic because they're black. The size and shape of them, they'll never date. I'll look after them in my funky little case. This is the fun part. Guess how much these little babies were? What are you thinking? 200? 150? 180? Well, they were meant to retail at £195 and they're current season stock and I picked them up for, wait for it, £29.99, 30, just under £30. I was so excited, I think that's one of the best bargains I've ever got in my life, so really pleased I went in that TK Maxx. Then, um, oh, I also got some makeup from Topshop. But I don't really have time, I don't think, in this video to talk about it. So if you want to know what I got from Topshop, um, please leave a comment below and say if you'd rather I did a video on it or if I did a post on my blog with swatches. Whatever you think's best, maybe both. But I'd really appreciate it if you guys could let me know what you'd rather see, if anything at all. You, you, you might not care. <laughs> Just asking. Um, so on Friday, we went to London again, me and my parents. Um, it's been great spending time with them, it's lovely. And we ended up down Bond Street, which is a gorgeous, famous road in London. And we walked past Mulberry, Gucci, Jimmy Choo, Balenciaga, uh, Burberry, Vivian Westwood, all these fabulous names I'm a huge fan of. And then we ended up standing out inside, in front of Mecca. It's Mecca to me, and it is Louis Vuitton. And I love, 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 love Louis Vuitton. And I was so excited because I'd been saving and... I knew I wanted the perfect spring summer bag and it was from Louis Vuitton. Are you ready to see it, my new, my new best friend? Yay! This is the Neverfull Demi Air bag and it's MM for size. You can get three different sizes. So you can get the PM which is the smaller size which is too small for me personally. This size which is the MM medium. And then the GM, which is the large one. And I tried it on, but it was just way too big. I just looked ridiculous with it. But this, to me, is perfect. And I can completely understand why it's called the Neverfull. Because it's huge. Like, I don't even know how I'm going to fill it up. It's like a never-ending bucket. You know, like Mary Poppins bag. And the lining inside, I don't know if you can see it, is super pretty. And I've not got a Louis Vuitton bag in this print. And I'd wanted one for a long time. So I'm really, really pleased I got it. And... If you want to see more pictures of it, because you can pull these drawstrings in and it turns into a completely different shaped bag, it's like two in one, then you can check out more pictures on my blog. Again, the link is below. And yeah, I'd love to know what you think of it. And if you guys have got your eye on the perfect summer bag of the moment and what you'd like to get, let me know, because I love bag talking. So yeah, I think that's pretty much my haul. So I'm going to be going to try and be a good person for the rest of the month and not spend, but me and you both know that's not going to happen. Whoops. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think. As always, I love your comments and I read each and every one of them. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.